there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents, for a TJ Maxx haul. Now, I picked up this reusable bag at TJ Maxx. It's got kitty cats on it. It's heavy. I did not bring a reusable bag into TJ Maxx with me because I did not expect to buy anything. I thought I was gonna go maybe get one candle or one product and that was it. But I've learned an important lesson. I cannot go to TJ Maxx and look at the body care. No, no, because it is like a shopping frenzy. There is so many different products, so many smell good scents, so many things to try, so many clearance items. Everything that I bought was under $10 and I still ended up spending, this is why I'm not going back to TJ Maxx, $67.40. And I thought I was gonna buy a candle and I didn't, I didn't even buy a candle. I didn't find any candles that I, I liked enough to buy. So let me show you what I picked up. Some of this stuff is from the clearance section like this. Did I need more makeup wipes? These are donut, donut makeup wipes. These are vanilla almond makeup removing wipes. Removes makeup, dirt, excess oil, and glaze. Make your skin sprinkle instead of sparkle. This is by Beauty Concepts. They had a, a bunch of different ones and this was on clearance for $3 for 60 wipes. I don't know what they smell like. They kind of smell like vanilla almond, I don't know, but they had donuts and sprinkles. So I got that for $3. This was missing a cap. This was $4.99. This is DW Home Juicy Red Mango Room Spray. Ask me why I had to have it. Because it smells like Juicy Red Mango. And I had to have it and it was $4.99. Was this on clearance? Or was it $4.99? No, it was $4.99, even though it was missing a cap. Juicy Red Mango. I don't know. I don't know why I had to have it. Then I found um, this shampoo. I have been having good luck with baby shampoo on my hair. I've been using tea tree shampoo and I also have been using baby shampoo and it's been doing um better for my hair my hair is not as greasy or like weighed down as it usually is I saw this oh my god it's just a huge bottle of shampoo they have like these huge bottles of things and they mesmerize me they have like huge bottles of soap of like moisturizer of body wash of shampoo and I, they had two scents. I don't remember what the other one is. This is Alba Botanica. Colorific shampoo in plumeria. No sulfates, parabens, no animal testing. This is 32 fluid ounces for $7. This says formulated for color treated hair, which my hair is usually color treated. And it smells like plumeria, which sometimes, and you know, I got flack for this because every time I say something smells like an old woman, they're like, if you say that it smells like an old woman, then you're saying that it smells stinky or you're saying that old people smell. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it smells like something that a scent that my grandmother would wear. So instead of getting people getting their panties in a bunch, I will say it's mature smelling. Plumeria is a mature scent. So, this was, yeah, seven, seven dollars on clearance, and we'll see how this is. 
I have never heard of this company, but I had to have it. Then I picked up this. I couldn't even smell this, but I had to have it. This is Ed Hardy body lotion. And it doesn't even say what scent it is. But I've never had Ed Hardy body lotion before. And it was $4.99, so I had to have it. It doesn't say what scent it is. It just says apply, uh, smooth on a generous amount to keep skin feeling soft. So you can't open it in the store. So this is mystery scent. No idea what it smells like. So we're gonna smell it together. I hope it smells good. Or else I'd be giving this away as a gift or I don't know. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like, I guess, what the Ed Hardy cologne or whatever smells like. Mmm. Oh, it's got a really nice cologne-y, perfumey scent. That smells good. So that was a win. That smells good. I have to use that. Mmm. Yummy. Then I picked up this. I wanted to try, you know, hemp's is always so expensive. The hemp's brand. This is a small bottle. This is only, well, let me tell you how much. The Ed Hardy was 6.8 fluid ounces for $4.99. This is hemp's for $6.99. I know my boyfriend likes this brand. Um, this is Beach Body Limited Edition raspberry peach and tamarind this was yeah 6.99 for six fluid ounces so this was not sealed so you could smell it this does smell good and like i said i i've heard good things about the hemp's brand and i've never tried it before it's um What was that again? It's raspberry peach and tamarind. So I think it's the tamarind that gives it the odd scent. Still raspberry peach. I mean, it's not the best smelling thing in the world, but I'll use it. I'll use it. Or I'll give it to my boyfriend. I don't know if he's going to want to smell like a raspberry peach. So, like I said, all these products under $10, but they add up. Then I found these two foaming body scrubs. The first one I found was this one. I'm not big into body scrubs, but these were $5.99, and they were just so pretty. This is Champagne Wishes, and it says Honey and Pear. I can't open it because my hands are slippery from the damn hand lotion. I can't smell it through the thing. Yes, I can. It smells good. Honey and Pear. Foaming Body Scrub by Onyx Bath House. I've seen other people show this in their videos. So I'm excited to try the Onyx Bath House. Oh, I just opened it by accident. Okay. Um, it doesn't smell as good when you open it. Honey and pear. It smells a little, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It smelled better when it was sealed, like when I wasn't getting the full essence of it. Onyx Bathhouse. And then I found this one, which is this beautiful purple and blue. And this is peach and raspberry. This is beach vacay. This one is 
champagne wishes and they were $5.99 each so I figure I would try them and see how they are. Might as well open this one since I opened the other one. Cannot open this one. I know there was like a mermaid one or something that somebody hauled or showed. A lot of people do TJ Maxx walkthroughs. Walk and I've seen these, a bunch of these in the walkthroughs. So this is peach and raspberry. Okay, I got it. I think I got it open. Kind of smell. I mean, you could really smell the peach. You could really smell the peach. this is going to be. Maybe I should have tried one before buying two. Um, so next shower, I'm going to try this foaming body scrub. Beach vacay from Onyx bathhouse. You guys tell me if this is any good. I don't know. I don't know. $5.99. It's not a bad price. Compare at $8. So I guess it doesn't go for very much money. It says... The scrub gently exfoliates and polishes your skin, uh, letting beauty shine through. It says, this foaming body scrub makes a great hand scrub too. Remove a small amount from the jar and combine with water. Apply to skin in a circular motion. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Then I got this one, which... They had a bunch of different ones in this uh, body prescriptions. This is one that I could not open because um, it was sealed. This was $5.99, so I got the Smooth Operator. This is 12, no, 17.6 ounces. Smooth Operator Vanilla Mint Body Butter. No idea what this smells like. You can't tell. You can't tell through the thing. So. And then I'll save. Save the best one for last. I don't smell anything. Oh, well. I opened it. And I got stuff on me. Yikes. It's like yogurt. Vanilla mint body butter. It's like yogurt. It smells like yogurt. Vanilla mint body butter. I don't know if I like this. Smells like yogurt. That Ed Hardy stuff smells the best out of everything. I don't know. I don't think I like this. It doesn't smell like vanilla or mint. So the Smooth Operator Vanilla Mint Body Butter, I don't know if that's going to be a fail. Um, $5.99. It says, apply a small amount onto hands and body. Massage until absorbed into skin. Apply 
Daily for Hydrated Skin. Designed in the USA, made in China. Has anybody tried this brand, Body Prescriptions? Tell me what I'm doing with this. Um, and then, so the thing that I got last, which I bought two of because I saw two and I had to get two. So you guys, you remember I bought this bootleg perfume. I buy these bootleg perfumes in Telco. And then I ask you guys, what is it a bootleg of? Because I don't know what it's bootleg of. So this one, Adriana Halo Dreams. It smells really good. They don't have it in Telco anymore. Um, somebody told me it must be uh, Ariana Grande Cloud. So I found... What I found... I found Ariana Grande Cloud um, for $7.99 at TJ Maxx and it just smells so amazing and it does smell like that perfume there's I don't know how to tell you the amazingness of the smell of it but it just smells it just smells amazing and I think you could layer it with stuff it's light it's feminine it's just perfumey and it just smells so good so I think I'm going to have to try these products out to see how they are. Um, like I said, this is a lot of body butter for $5.99. So I, I don't know. Like I said, it's not, I'm, I'm kind of glad that it's not the consistency of a thick, thick body butter because I don't like super thick body butter I find it I don't want to sit there forever trying to massage it massage no what is that it rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again <laughs> yeah I don't want something that I'm gonna it's gonna be like a chore for me to put on so I don't know like I said vanilla mint body butter you know what if I don't love it <laughs> it just gets re I'm gonna give it to the boyfriend because it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't smell like vanilla or mint. It smells like, actually, it smells like vanilla yogurt. So I don't know how I feel about that. All I know is that I am not going to TJ Maxx ever. I, I don't say ever again because they say never say never. But um, unless the Onyx bathhouse is like super amazing, I have to stay away from that store. So anyway, that was the extent of my TJ Maxx haul. Look at this cute bag. Kitty cats. So that's the extent of my TJ Maxx haul. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.